Hello! Welcome to Ranking Genshin Characters at an Anime Convention. As you can see, there's a zillion categories. I probably went a little overboard with this one, but you know what? We're getting specific here, okay? I myself have been to dozens of anime conventions in the past, like, five to ten years. Buckle up! I suppose let me just read off the categories I have so far. Okay! Cosplay contest winner, casual cosplayer having a blast, obligatory Sailor Moon cosplay group. I'm very excited to fill out that one personally. First time con goer, amazed, taking tons of pictures, has a booth in Artist Alley, spent a million dollars in the dealer's hall, waifu body pillow purchaser, I will find you, dancing in an idol group performance, Emergency cosplay fixing station attendee, playing games in the arcade all day, hosting a panel, asleep in the AMV slash movie room, bag mule who desperately wants to go home, and drunk all weekend, blasted at the rave. Everyone line up! You're about to get red! Starting with Aether! Oh my god, there's so many categories. Okay, uh, I wanna say... First time con goer, amazing, taking lots of pictures. They seem like a little sheltered to me in that he hasn't been to something like this before, but is like, I've always wanted to try. Like, yeah, sure, I'll go. Albedo, I think probably has an artist alley booth. Oh my God, wait a minute, what if? What if he's like a hentai artist? <laughs> he's like that guy who's selling like beautifully drawn sussy images and like you kind of avert your eyes when you walk past that booth because you're embarrassed. I'm uh, taking commissions for 18 plus pieces um okay aloy i'm gonna put her here as well amber i'm gonna put her in the sailor moon group but i might swap her later okay and then ito why do i get the vibe that he would buy a body pillow he also might potentially be drunk all weekend blasted at the rave but i think i've said this before ito doesn't seem the type to need to get drunk to have a good time so actually maybe not i can see him playing games in the arcade but i don't think he would do it all day because he'd, he'd have the zoomies and want to like check everything out first time con goer amazed taking tons of pictures is also possible however you can also be a first time con goer and also buy a body pillow of your favorite waifu his homies in his gang were like dude just do it just do it and shinobi's like oh my god barbara miss barbara is in a love live group and they are performing a dance number at one of the panels and everyone has those like glow sticks and they're like barbara albert's in the front row like with his idol stick things Ooh, beido first instinct drunk all weekend blasted at the rave second instinct also drunk all weekend, blasted at the rave. Bennett, 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 Bennett. I'm gonna say he's a casual cosplayer having a blast. If my theory about him and Fischl being friends is true, if Fischl is like a super serious cosplayer who's like sewing in her hotel room at the last minute, Bennett is casually cosplaying and kind of bag muling for her, but he's just having a blast. Chong Yoon. Uh, Chong Yoon's a bag mule and desperately wants to go home. I feel like he has overstimulation issues with obviously like temperature and, and things like that. I can see him getting too hot at a con and like really wanting to go home and he gets like hangry and he's just like snapping at Sing Cho. Like, I don't think he really particularly likes this environment. Ultimate hear me out. D Luke spent a million dollars in the dealer's hall. He's got a room in the basement of the Don Winery. He's into like Gundams. He has a bunch of like one six scale models of his favorite characters. Don't tell anyone. And if Kai ever found out, oh, it'd be game over. Diona is hosting a panel on not just con safety, but like alcohol con safety and trying to say like, you don't need to drink to have a good time. There's plenty of sober activities at the convention and like three people are there. Let's say Eula went with Amber. Would she be in the Sailor Moon group as well? Or is she a bag mule? for Amber who is cosplaying. That is the question. If she's in the Sailor Moon group, she got forced to do it by Amber and just like went along with it. Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Jupiter. <laughs> Oh, I love it. We love to see it. Okay, official. you already know. She is the cosplay contest winner of 2022. She put hundreds of hours into her cosplay. It is immaculately detailed. She knows what she's doing. She is there for business. Strictly business. And Bennett said, can I come too? And she's like, yeah, whatever. Ganyu, um, I want to say is perhaps asleep in the AMB movie room because she's exhausted. She's like, she's, she sort of has like con organizer vibes. Not really that interested in participating once the event starts. Yai blackmailed Goro into joining the Sailor Moon cosplay group. 
I'm gonna say that Hu Tao and Jin Yan are in like an alt idol group. You know how- uh, this is a deep cut. I expect like one person to understand what I'm talking about. There's like a rival group in Love Live Sunshine that uh, they play like heavy metal music and they're cool. It's a duo and everyone's like, whoa, oh my God, what is this genre? Oh. That's who Tao and Jinya. They're like rapping and playing rock music while Barbara and her other idol group members are doing the classic pop stuff. Jean is hosting a panel. Jean is doing con safety. Kazuha is drunk all weekend blasted. Oh my god, the dynamic duo of Beido and Kazuha both being drunk all weekend. Their arms are linked together and they're like, it's Levi Ackerman, do you see him? And Kazuha's like, is he really there? And he's like, no, it's a cosplayer, dude. I almost wanted to put Kaya also in drunk all weekend, but he's, he's extra. I'm gonna say he's casually cosplaying for the first time. He's trying it out, but he's also like kind of drunk all weekend. Ayaka, I'm gonna say, Ooh, hold up. I was about to throw her into casual cosplayer, but I'm gonna say idol group. Kachang is Sailor Mars. Oh, Klee's first convention. She's taking pictures with all the cosplayers of all the like, she sees a giant Pikachu cosplayer in one of the suits and she's like, Pikachu. Jean is like holding her hand, walking around with her, taking pictures of all the cosplayers. Why do I also get the sense that Sara is like secretly super into like a fandom? enough to host a panel on it. I think Lisa is casually cosplaying. Ooh, wait, I just I just had a realization. I, I was gonna put Ka-Ching and spent a million dollars in the dealer's hall. Oh, but Sailor Mars though. All right, change of plans. I found someone else who could be Sailor Mars. I'm so sorry for those of you who really like the Sailor Mars plan. Ka-Ching spent a million dollars. Mona is Sailor Mars. That also, tracks in my opinion. I have an opinion about Lumine. I'm gonna say she's playing arcade games all day with Xiao. Maybe eventually they open up and they end up playing DDR and everyone's like gathered around like oh my god. <laughs> what is going on with my brain today for me to think that all these stoic people are gonna be spending a million dollars in the dealer's hall? Ningguang has the most right to spend a million dollars in the dealer's hall. Look at her wallet, dude. If Diluc and Kaching are buying serious anime merch, Ningguang is a connoisseur of like Albedo's artwork, if you know what I mean. Wink wink, based on what I said earlier. Noel is definitely first time con goer having a great time so amazed at the cosplays i feel like she is very impressed by the craftsmanship that went into everything chi chi is asleep in the amv movie room raiden shogun is a bag meal for yai and she desperately wants to go home razor i feel like he'd be a little overwhelmed by everything and he's gonna play games with Zhao and uh, lumine rosaria went with kaya but i don't think he could talk her into cosplaying so she's drunk all weekend blasted at the rave she's having a good time though i will say kokomi is is in the Sailor Moon group because Goro's there. I use also asleep in the AMV movie room. I'm so sorry for always typecasting you. Senha is also asleep in the movie room. As much as I said that Sucrose would not get typecasted as Sailor Mercury, she's getting typecasted as Sailor Mercury. <laughs> Tartagles. I just raised my eyebrows looking at the waifu body pillow purchaser category. He spent a million dollars in the dealer's hall because of Tusser. He wants to buy him a bunch of- he wants to buy him the very best, you know? All the best toys. And we already know where Toma's going. He is the emergency cosplay fixing station attendee. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of cons will have either like a rolling cart or a special room where you can go if you're cosplay like something falls off or it breaks, you can go there and they'll sew it for you and fix it up real quick, so. Venti is splasted. He is schmovin' for the liquor at this convention, but he's having a great time. I think Xiangling is having her first con experience as well. All right, so returning to something I said earlier. So I said Chong Yun was a bag mule, right? He is Xing Cho's bag mule, who is cosplaying as a character from his favorite series, whatever that might be. All right, and Yae is the owner of an artist alley booth specializing in her books. Her and Albedo are competing for like the most popular booth. I'm gonna say Yanfei's hosting a panel. I can see her being like a trivia host. I think I'm gonna declare that Yoimiya is Sailor Moon in the Sailor Moon group. So we have Sailor Moon, Sailor Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury. So here's the main five. And then I'm gonna say Neptune. Oops. Maybe Goro can be like Saturn or something. Or Chibiusa. I think Goro would be Chibiusa. Yunjin is in the idol dancing group. 
Zhongli, ooh. Is Peepa asleep in the A and B room? Imagine Zhongli with a giant waifu body pillow. Is he hosting a panel on the history of the anime industry? I'm gonna give him the grandpa treatment of he's like, look at all these incredible talented folks. Let's take photographs. <laughs> Ayato. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Ayato is not super duper interested in this, but wants to help out Toma at the cosplay fixing station. Probably is super rich and hasn't picked up a needle in his entire life, but I think Toma needed an extra pair of hands. I'm a little confused on what to do with Shinobu. I think I'm gonna say she's a first time congoer. She gets super excited if she sees a cosplayer like dressed up as her favorite character. Next time she comes, she'll cosplay, but for this first one, she's just taking pics. Yelon seems like one of those flirtatious, sassy panel hosts. She just seems like she's administrative for this event as well. So I'm gonna say she's hosting something. Keizo is an arcade enjoyer. I'll say that Tignati and Kale are both doing casual cosplays from something. Dory definitely has a booth. I'm not gonna, I, I almost wanna say she's a dealer's hall booth, not Artist Alley. Like she's, she's the one selling like super expensive figurines that are like marked up super high. Okay, and Candace is Sailor Pluto. Don't you see it? I think Sino is Tignati and Kale's bag mule and he just wants to go home. Nilu is in the dancing idol group. She's definitely in like the traditional group. Layla is asleep in the AMB movie room. Nahida is probably a first time con goer, taking lots of pics, despite the fact that she's been alive for a while. I, feel, I mean, same with Zhongli. How has Zhongli been alive for this long and he's never been to a con before? It's just never crossed his mind. Baruzan, I'm gonna say she's cosplaying and you just like be very confident in herself and everyone loves her and is taking pictures of her. She's like, yeah, I know. This little rat is definitely playing games in the arcade all day. I don't know who he's bag mulling for, but he desperately wants to get out of there. I think, yeah, Yao Yao is a casual cosplayer, just enjoying the convention. Dia is drunk all weekend, blasted at the rave. Don't ask me why, I just have a feeling. <laughs> and Mika, am I about to slander this man before he's even been released yet? Tell me I'm wrong. Look at, look me in the eye and tell me that that's not a man who has a waifu body pillow. He'll never tell, but I know. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a lot of categories. Overall, there's so many different ways you can enjoy it. Con, it, we didn't have a lot of scandals. You know, nobody was making out in the coat closet during this one, but hopefully you still enjoyed this list. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below with any headcanons you have about specific characters and what their convention experience might be like. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.